What's up guys, iSchool Tech here. Now Apple has just released the fourth beta of iOS 17, and with that comes over 60 new changes and features, both big and small that I would like to share with you all today. Now, before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button with post notifications enabled because I will be doing this with every future beta of iOS. So if you always want to know every small detail that is included in these betas, that is something you might want to do. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. All right, so for this video, iOS 17 beta 4 will be on the right and iOS 17 beta 3 will be on the left. So the first new change is in settings. The home screen and app library icon has been updated. You can see here it is a lot more colorful and looks a lot nicer in my opinion. Previously, this is what it looked like. In the control center, the TV remote icon has also been updated. You can see it looks a lot cleaner here. This is what it looked like in beta 3. Now if we open up the TV remote, you can see in beta 4 it has a slight redesign. The messages app drawer receives all new icons with quite a bit more color and a lot more consistency. And the actual plus icon here has a darker background. It is not black, it's a little bit hard to tell on camera, but it is a much darker gray than before. Now also in messages, the microphone icon in the text field has been updated. You can see it's a little bit bolder. It looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. Previously, this is what it looked like. In the standby settings, there is now a new option for show preview on tap only. In display and text size, there is a new option for prefer horizontal text. And in the airdrop settings, there is a new option for bringing devices together. The phone recents page has been condensed slightly once more. And the outgoing and incoming icons are now on the side of each entry instead of below. The daily average graph in the screen time settings now uses a lighter blue. And in the FaceTime settings, the live captions option no longer is listed as a beta. I am sure this is a bug considering that everywhere else in settings still has that beta label. But previously, you can see here in FaceTime, it was a beta. Now the weather widget has subtle shading behind a lot of these icons and I think it looks really nice. Previously, there was absolutely zero shading. The clear history options for Safari no longer takes up the full height of the display. And when creating a new Safari profile, there is an updated smiley face icon. It is no longer filled in. Quite a few new changes in the mental well-being area of health. So the first one being that this no entries area and state of mind has been reverted to a earlier design in one of the earlier betas. Also, no entries is now just no entry. And of course, the mental health questionnaire has a new icon. Momentary emotions has also been condensed down and is better aligned. And up here at the top, the date actually shows the day of the week instead of just the date. When viewing a past daily mood using the calendar view, the design has been updated. Things are a little bit more spaced out, condensed down, and more aligned. When logging an emotion or mood, there is now a new animation when going into the mood slider. The colors have also been a little bit refined. You can see here that we're using a nicer, lighter blue than before. If we do this, it goes for all the colors. Now, the slider also matches the color of the background here. So you can see before it was just kind of white and now it actually matches the color. At the top here, there is now a mood title and log state of mind has been removed from every other menu. Now the back and cancel buttons are also gray instead of blue. And overall, the text on this page is significantly darker and easier to discern from the background. Under what describes this feeling, you can see that the eye icon is slightly bolder. It looks a little bit nicer than this thinner one. And of course, this page has been redesigned. There's no longer a black box around the option options here previously that existed. In the show more menu, the text what describes this feeling has been added to the top and you can no longer swipe to dismiss this page. Previously you could. In podcasts, the ellipsis icon here is now brighter, more discernible against the background. Previously it was slightly darker. And now this menu has been completely flipped in beta four with download episode at the top and report a concern at the bottom. And a new change I am very excited about, the airplay menu has been updated system wide. Now when tapping the icon, it comes up from the bottom with a nice new animation before it would just pop up in the middle of the screen. In weather, the averages platter has been redesigned with things shifted around and it looks a lot nicer. And the UV index platter has some more spacing in between the actual index number and the title. And in the moon platter, we can see here that the moon does not get as dark towards its darkest point where it does on beta three. It is a little bit more discernible in beta four. In averages, normal range has moved next to the normal range key here. There is now a new average high text right under the change in average. In averages, the summary text for temperature and precipitation has been noticeably reduced in size. 
size. Next up, monthly averages text has also been shortened down. There are now an about the normal range and about average temperatures text boxes. Throughout the weather app, there has been an update in the units for precipitation, no longer millimeters and centimeters, now just millimeters. And in the precipitation averages, average has now been replaced with 30 day average. In shortcuts, the no automations icon has been slightly updated as you can see here. In suggestions from your apps, pretty much every icon has been updated in size. They are all slightly larger. You can see here in books. And in files, there is a new scan document icon. And several backgrounds have been updated. You can see notes uses a more vibrant yellow, more in line with the rest of the colors. When editing a contact, the choose your photo icons have been enlarged and there is an updated monogram icon with two capital A's, previously it was a capital A and a lowercase a. And when editing a contacts posters, the create new poster thumbnail is now darker, previously it was this lighter gray. And now it's the first name that uses a larger text with the last name using smaller text. Previously, that was reversed. In Translate, the text box here has been increased in height. Previously, it was a lot more condensed. In Fitness Plus, the Up Next icon has shrunk. Previously, it was larger. And the Custom Plans platter has been updated using a darker gray, a little bit more spaced out, and thinner text. In the Tips app, the Setup Checklist Suggested menu sits slightly lower than before. And the Tips app gets an updated design to be more consistent with iOS. These headers have been finally removed and it looks a lot nicer in this updated version. And after updating to beta 4 of iOS 17, I was greeted with this new pop-up for new features on AirPods Pro second gens. In music credits, there is now a new lossless icon. Now it has a slight gradient to it. In beta 4, Apple has updated the communication safety text. Now it says communication safety can detect nude photos and videos before they're sent or viewed on your child's device and provide guidance and age appropriate resources to help them make safe choice. Apple does not have access to the photos or videos. Previously, it did not say videos, it just said photos, and it started off with messages instead of communication safety. Apple has once again updated the weather and astronomy wallpaper thumbnails. You can see, for example, Earth no longer has this aggressive glow, Mars has been rotated, and so has Jupiter. Now, the moon wallpaper has changed once again. If I go ahead and remove these widgets here, you'll be able to see that the moon wallpaper actually sits slightly lower again. This has been changed multiple times now. And it's the moon detail wallpaper also sits slightly lower. This isn't much lower, but it is a little bit lower. And last but not least, the earth wallpapers now show the green dot of your location. They only play this once, but it is a change. All right, everyone, that is every new change in feature that I could find within iOS 17 beta 4. Now, if you did enjoy the video or you would like to see every tiny change and new feature included in future iOS betas, make sure, of course, to hit that subscribe button down below with notifications enabled so you know as soon as those videos drop. Anyways, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.